so that's kind of that's what I feel is my job to pick out those moments of everyday life where that exists and to show it to other people and say see you might have missed this you know this is part of you this is part of your life and this is like this one small miracle that you, you could have overlooked. But I am really drawn to that side of life. You know, people who are hermits or people who are drawn to a cloistered kind of life, I can't practice it myself. You know, I have to go out, I have to go on tour, I have to take care of my daughter, I have to participate in the real world, but I'm always looking for those moments in real life. Most of the time, in my own mind, I'm remembering something. I'm really affected by my memories, and I have this fantasy life that's like, in the future, I'm going to be whatever, and then it really pulls me. That inner world where I'm inventing whatever I'm inventing, it shows me where I'm meant to be next. And a lot of times in my life, I find I'm still playing catch up with like old experiences or old um, old moments that I that were too much for me at the time, so I put them away and then they come back in all their glory and I have to write them down or I have to to confront them in the moment of it. Looks like she's on. Where's Ruby? She's at home. Oh. Yeah. On the rest. Yes, she is. Well, so, more or less. Thanks. 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 Sorry. Was right away. Okay. Yeah. It's actually been really nice up until this point. <laughs> Suddenly you arrive here and we have the worst hotel and uh, the funkiest venue. <laughs> keep going, there is a lift. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. No, keep going. After the shutter, there is a lift. On your left. This is the way that I in the gear. Yeah. Well, it was actually a huge lift. But there was something else. Okay. So we're going to the dressing room? Hey. 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 Sharpie, if you want it. Christ. Oh, brother, one of these. Yeah, let's get a broom and dustpan. Drag it up. Really, it's just squalor all around. Especially after the, at least the venue was really beautiful yesterday. What? Oh, that's nice. Is that a pathetic sight or what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sandwiches. And a bottle of red and... Oh, man. I can see why we haven't been to Manchester for the last 10 years. They always have tea here. Oh, well. I'll just take a nap. Where's my lip liner? After the show is either bedtime or time to have a drink. So my eyes are nice and red. That'll go with my shirt. Oh. This is right. Yeah. First on the left. This is left. Ah, the lights are blinding.
not going to stand right here. God, it's like a fried egg. I said, I feel like a fried egg. Not like that. No thanks, Mark. I feel the promotion has not been as good, and that's a very old, boring story of artists railing against their record companies. And I, for one, am really sick of hearing about it. We've been on the road for two months and we've sold 8,000 records. Here in the UK, they are planning to sell 70,000. That's impressive. They're having a great big push for it, so it's really, it's really cool. I wish I could be here when it enter, when, to see if it enters the charts, if it comes in at the charts at all. They seem to be expecting that it might because I've been doing a lot of interviews with like chart radio and chart interviews here and there. So it's, if they're not expecting it to, I think they're at least hoping it, that it will enter the charts, would be, which would be really great. Left, right, straight. Let's try on. We're going all, all the way back to the first motorway roundabout, and then we're doing the right. So next, this roundabout.